before us is the cosmos on the grandest scale we know. We are far from the shores of Earth, in the uncharted reaches of the cosmic ocean. Strewn on the waves of space are innumerable faint tendrils of light, some of them containing hundreds of billions of suns. These are the galaxies, drifting endlessly in the great cosmic dark. In our ship, we are halfway to the edge of the known In this, the first of our cosmic voyages, we begin to explore the universe revealed by science. Our course will eventually carry us to a far-off and exotic world. But from the depths of space, we cannot detect even the cluster of galaxies in which our Milky Way is embedded, much less the Sun or the Earth. of nature are the same as in the form of this spiral galaxy. The same laws of physics apply everywhere throughout the cosmos. But we have just begun to understand these laws. The universe is rich in mystery. I'm a psychiatrist, I'm also an intuitive, and what that is, is I combine traditional medicine with intuition, which is the still small voice inside that will tell you the truth about things. Why bother with intuition? Because if you don't make intuitive decisions, you're only going to be going on your linear mind, which will tell you a fraction of the truth about reality. What I suggest so. is that you learn how to tune into your intuition by listening to your gut instead of just your head by training yourself to get quiet instead of overthinking all the time, which exhausts you. To listen you. to your dreams at night, to ask questions before you go to sleep at night and see what your dreams tell you. And also learn to ask for intuitive guidance by sitting quietly, taking a few deep breaths, trying to get neutral, and asking a question, then waiting to see what response you get. This is a way to train yourself to develop intuition and also develop a belief system that says you're an intuitive person. You're not just in your head. You're not a disembodied head walking around that can only think. You have an intuitive sense, a deep sense of gut knowing, of wisdom and power inside of yourself. That if you take the time to shift levels of awareness from the talking brain that goes on 24 hours a day to learning how to follow the breath, listen to each breath, shift channels from the mind to tune into this inner voice, this gut, this can serve you in any decision if you consult it. <laughs> 